So we're going to check the oil pressure on a John Deere 50 today. I've already taken the uh, oil line out right here, which is behind the distributor. Uh, what that does is it goes up to the automatic um, shutoff sediment bowl, and then it tees off and it runs up under the dash to the gauge. So this is where we're going to want to screw in our master gauge um, to see what the oil pressure is going to be. I picked up a oil pressure gauge from Harbor Freight. Nothing special. We're going to plug it in and just see what we're running at. So I've got the gauge line hooked up to the oil pressure line there and ran it down to the uh, gauge here. So now just need to fire the tractor up see what we're sitting at. Ideally, it's going to be around 10 to 15 PSI at a high idle. So as you saw with the tractor running at uh, somewhat of a high idle, it wasn't real high, but it was still pushing 20 PSI on the gauge. And we want that in the 10 to 15 range uh, for the John Deere 50. I think uh, that's what's causing a leak behind my flywheel, uh, too much oil pressure, and it's just pushing oil out. So uh, this is gonna be your oil pressure adjustment screw, and it's right underneath the uh, belt pulley here. So I'm gonna take this end cap off. And that just reveals a uh, screw head there. And this is just a washer that moves a little bit. Next, we want to take a 5 8 inch wrench and we want to loosen this jam nut. And that'll allow us to move the screw in and out. So we'll just loosen that up a little bit. And I've got to find a way to pinch this down a little bit because I unscrewed it. But when the tractor's running for a little bit, it likes to die because it's not getting any fuel. So I gotta wedge this down to keep it running so I can adjust the uh, oil pressure. Once I do that, when the tractor's running, I'm gonna adjust this. If you screw it in, the pressure goes up. If you screw it out, the pressure goes down. So I'm gonna try to get that figured out and then we'll get it adjusted. So based on that reading, it was definitely way higher than uh, it should have been. Again, 10 to 15 PSI is what we want this at, and it was pushing over 20. So I'm guessing that's what was causing my leak behind the flywheel. It just too much pressure pushing the uh, oil out. So once we're done, we just tighten this jam nut down again. And we put the cap back on. I just want to snug that up a little bit just so it doesn't fly off of there. In my makeshift, uh, slide a piece of trim in between that and the uh, fuel tank worked. It uh, kept the tractor running. So, um, In regards to these Harbor Freight oil pressure gauges, it was 30 bucks. I'm guessing its accuracy is within 1 to 2 PSI. It's by no means a professional 100% accurate gauge but it gave me a good idea of where the oil pressure was and i think that was the problem so now all i need to do is i'm going to unhook the uh, oil pressure uh, gauge and we're just going to hook the uh, oil pressure line back up and then we'll start the tractor up and see if the uh, gauge on the dash changes all right oil pressure line is hooked back up let's fire it up see what our gauge is going to read it typically would be right on the uh, h there so i'm hoping she's down a little bit 